people say, Cebu is the gateway to a thousand journeys. And it is so true as there are no shortage of exploration and things to do in this beautiful province of Cebu. Home to nearly 170 islands, Cebu is one of our favorite destinations in the Philippines. There's always so many attractions to see and endless activities to do for explorers like us. And in today's video, we'll showcase our top 10 pick of beautiful destinations and things to do in Cebu. Let's go and don't forget to let us know which one is your favorite destination. Let's escape and journey together to Moalboal Cebu, which is a home of the famous sardine run and diving experience. Moalboal is also known for its beautiful beaches, vibrant marine life, including various species of fish, sea turtles, and even whale sharks. One of the main attractions in Moalboal is the beautiful coral reefs, which are easily accessible from the shore. Snorkeling and scuba diving are also one of the most popular activities in the area with divers coming from all over the world to explore the underwater world of Moalboal. Pescador Island, which is located off the shore of Moalboal, is also a popular diving spot known for its sardine run and diverse marine life. Aside from its natural attractions, Moalboal is also known for its laid-back atmosphere and friendly locals. If you are planning to visit the town, it has a range of accommodations that fits everyone's budget, from budget-friendly guest house to luxury accommodations, and of course, plenty of restaurants serving local and international cuisine. Just a short distance from Moalboal is the adrenaline pumping and at the same time very calming scenery of the Kawasan Falls. The falls is about 30 minutes from Moalboal so it's a short distance drive to enjoy this amazing waterfall. Kawasan Falls has always been a top destination in Cebu especially for nature lovers and adventure seekers. Kawasan Falls is a three-tiered waterfall and is famous for crystal clear turquoise waters which are surrounded by lush greenery and natural rock formations. Visitors can hike up to the falls and enjoy the refreshing cold waters which is a perfect escape from the tropical heat of the Philippines. The first tier of the waterfall is about 40 meters high and a large pool. It is easily accessible so it is very popular with locals and tourists to spend a day for swimming and relaxation. The second and the third tier of the waterfall is less crowded but will require quite a bit of a hike. Aside from swimming and hiking, you can also enjoy the bamboo rafting and canyoneering if you are more adventurous. Next, let's journey together to a new destination which is Mactan Island. Mactan is only a few kilometers from Cebu City and the island is connected by the two bridges making it accessible for tourists and locals alike. What you will love about Mactan is it offers beautiful beaches popular for swimming, snorkeling, and scuba diving. It is also a home to many luxury resorts destinations like Maribago Beach, Shangri-La Beach, 
Plantation Bay, and Mactan Island Beach. Aside from the natural attractions, Mactan also has a rich history and cultural heritage. It is the site of the famous Battle of Mactan, where the Filipino chieftain Lapu-Lapu defeated the Spanish-Portuguese conqueror Ferdinand Magellan in 1521. The island is also popular for dining and shopping destinations where you can visit various shops and enjoy a wide range of local and international cuisines in many restaurants in the island. Mactan is definitely a must-visit island in Cebu province. Included on our top 10 list is Oslo. Once a small and sleepy coastal town, now becomes a hotspot tourist destination in Cebu because of Oslo Boil Shark, locally known as Butanding. Tourists and locals come to Oslo to experience whale watching, snorkeling, and swimming with these gentle giants called Botanding in their natural habitat. Although this activity brings tourism and income to locals, I hope that the Philippine government in Cebu implement a strict rules of protecting the whale sharks. At the end of the day, tourists are here to enjoy them for a few hours, take photos and videos, and leave. For locals and the Botanding, this is their home, so it must be protected. Aside from whale shark watching, Oslo also offers other attractions such as the Tumalog Falls, Somilion Island, and the heritage sites such as the Oslo Church and Quartal. Our next destination on the top 10 list is created out of love. The Temple of Leia is a grandiose and ornate structure located in the hills of Bosai, Cebu City. It is a multi-level building that features a Greco-Roman architectural style with elaborate sculptures and intricate designs. The temple was built in honor of Leia Albino Adarna, the late grandmother of socialite and actress Ellen Adarna. The temple is not a religious structure, but rather a museum that showcased the collection of personal belongings and memorabilia of Leia. What an amazing structure that symbolizes one's love and adoration built by a son for the love of his mother. Truly amazing. Inambakan Falls is a breathtaking and beautiful falls located in Ginatilan, southern part of Cebu. It is one of the most visited attractions due to its stunning beauty and accessibility. The falls are approximately 100 feet high, surrounded by lush vegetations and towering cliffs. The water flows into a wide natural pool that is perfect for swimming and cooling off during the summer days. Next on our top 10 list is Simala Shrine, also known as the Monastery of the Holy Eucharist, which is a religious complex located in the town of Sibonga, Cebu. Simala is a popular pilgrimage site for both Catholics and non-Catholics because of its stunning architecture and miraculous events that have been attributed to the site. 
The church architecture is inspired by European Gothic and Byzantine style, featuring a towering facade with intricate carvings and colorful stained glass windows. Inside the complex houses a chapel, a convent, and a museum that displays various relics and religious artifacts. Also included on our top 10 list is Sirao Garden, known as Little Amsterdam of Cebu because of the colorful Silosia flowers that bloom in vibrant hues of pink, purple, and orange, which resembles the tulips fields in the Netherlands. The garden is open to the public and offers a picturesque backdrop for photos, with views of flowers, a windmill, and a scenic view of the surrounding mountains. It is particularly busy in the months of November to February when the Celosia flowers are in full bloom. Another island destination made it to our top 10 list. Bantayan Island is a popular destination in Cebu and is known for its laid-back lifestyle, island life, and beautiful white sand beaches. Some of the popular beaches on Bantayan Islands include Santa Fe Beach and Paradise Beach. These beaches offers a range of activities such as swimming, snorkeling, island hopping, and or just relaxing under the sun. Apart from its beaches, Bantayan also has several historical and cultural attractions worth visiting. This includes the Bantayan Church and the Obuob Mangrove Eco Park. Bantayan definitely is a sun seeker's paradise. And of course, our top 10 list is not complete without exploring Cebu City. Cebu City is a vibrant and bustling city which is rich in cultural heritage, natural beauty, and unlimited shopping and restaurant options. I recommend to spend a day exploring the main historical sites such as the Magellan Cross, Fort San Pedro, and the Basilica del Santo Niño. Also check out the local museums and temples to gain a glimpse into the city's cultural history. Don't forget to check out the local food scene. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. Cebu is known for its delicious cuisine and make sure to try some of the local delicacies such as lechon, kinilaw, and puso. Lastly, my favorite activity of all, shopping and more shopping. Cebu is home to several malls like the SM City Cebu, Ayala Cebu, and the Carbon Market. Shop until you drop, and when you are tired, take time to relax in the many cafes and enjoy a cup of coffee. Cebu will not disappoint you. There you go, our top 10 list in Cebu. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Until next time.